Okay, so quickly we're going to go through how to build the number guessing game. Um, looking at a blank scratch project um, is okay, but um, we need a bit of a plan. So when we're doing um, fairly complicated things, we um, sometimes draw out our programming plan so that we can see how our program will work. Um, first thing we're going to do is I'm going to call this number guessing game. Um, just so that when I go file, save to computer, it's going to actually call it number guessing game. So, um, so yeah, we can call it number guessing game. Um, when I save it, I'm not going to save it now. Um, and I'm also going to delete my basic sprite. Um, so the plan is, um, start of the game, we're going to set our game up. So same as when we set Monopoly up, we um, pick our pieces. So we play one gets the dog, player two gets the boot, that sort of thing. Um, everyone gets their money. So we set up some um, variables. And then we're going to output some information. So we're going to output, we are playing a number guessing game. You get maximum number of guesses. So maximum guesses will be three. I'm thinking of a number between one, so minimum guesses and maximum guesses. And then we set our random number to a random number between minimum and maximum guess. So that's the start of our game. Right. So back in Scratch, we need a sprite. So I'm going to just go random sprite. So that's the, like, so if you have a look here, we go, um, choose sprite, surprise me. So, oh, it's a bear. So the bear is going to be our host today. Um, it's going to talk. So don't care about the costumes or anything like that. I think my bear needs to go there. So let's think about how we start the game. So we're going to do a couple of events. We're going to do when clicked, um, we're going to set our variables. So our variables though don't exist. So we have to actually create the variables. So I'm going to flip between the screens. So minimum guess, maximum guess, number of guesses, random number, guess, and by a number of guesses. So I'm going to rename this one. So minimum guess. So that's the minimum value. I'm going to just create um, maximum guess. Um, so minimum guess, maximum guess. I'm going to just turn all these off. I'm going to make another variable for all sprites. I'm going to call this um, guess. So that's the player guess. Uh, turn that off. I'm going to actually I'll make a variable. Um, we need random number. We need something to um, track how many guesses the player's had. So player, number of player guesses, of player guesses. And the last one I'm gonna check it, or tr variable we're interested in. The last bit is called maximum number of guesses. So, and just turn off, turn off. Now, Looking back at our plan, set those values, okay? So I'm just going to drag out one for each set, 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 uh, set, set, and set. Um, set guess to zero, set random number to zero. So we're setting them to a default value. So um, we're going to set minimum guess to one. We're going to set maximum guess to, I'm going to say 100. We're going to change maximum number of guesses. So how many maximum guesses can the player have to three? And the last one is number of player guesses is zero. So that looks okay. So that's the start of our game. So I'm going to just put that to the side because when I click that, all the value is going to be reset to that. So I'm going to Grab another one, and I'm going to have our program control under another one. So that's our start, just to separate it out so it's easier to manage and maintain. So let's have a look at the next thing we need. Output. We're playing a number guessing game. So output for sprites is under looks, and we're going to use the say hello a few times. Um, so I'm going to just drag a couple out, put them there. Um, I want to say we're playing a number guessing game. We are playing a number guessing game. So you get a maximum number of three guesses, or I'm going to say 
um, I'm thinking of a number between minimum and maximum guess. Now, to put a variable in there, um, normally to use a variable, so I know I need maximum and minimum guess. Like if I put that in there, like it overwrites everything. So how do I join text? Well, in operators, I have this join. So I want to say hello. I don't want to say hello. I want to say I am thinking of a number between, and I can't put both of them in there, so I might need another join between maximum guesses. Oh, I want to put and something else, so I need another join there. Maximum guesses and. And I want a space on either side of that. I'm going to put that there, put that there, and then I'm going to put that there. And I'm going to just quickly test that. If we're playing number guessing game. I'm thinking of a number between. Ah, oh, what have I done there? I'm going to minimize that a bit. I've gone maximum guesses and minimum guesses. So they're around the wrong way. So I'll just swap them around. So using the same thing, I'm going to say you get a maximum of three guesses. So I know I'm going to have a couple of joins. I know I'm going to use um, maximum number of guesses, and I'm going to say you get maximum number of guesses, space guesses. And I'm just joining that, joining that, and joining that. So I've done that, and then, so I've said that, set random number to a random number between that. So I know I need or set, so that's pretty easy, random number, and I've got this pick random. And I don't want one in 10, I want one in 100. Minimum guess, and maximum guess. So, and I'm just going to turn that random number on, and I'm just going to right click and go large readout. And I'm going to see if that actually works. So, lots of testing, see if it works. And you get three guesses 69. We're playing blah, 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 blah. So it sets it to zero, and then it goes through here and it sets 31. So, that seems to be working. Um, for debugging and testing, I'm going to leave that on. I'm going to turn it off when I finish, so I don't see it, but while I'm testing, I'm going to leave it there. So we have actually finished setting up our game. Um, I'm going to finish this video here, and I'm going to pick it up in a second video, just because like um, it will make it nice and short, so I'm going to just pause this. and. We